okay in this video we will solve the problem number 7.11 from the chapter number 7 the problem is obtain the 15 bit hamming code word for the 11 bit data word 11001001010 so this is the given word that is 11001001010 so here we have n equal to 11 okay that means we have 11 number of bits in this word given word so we have to fulfill this condition for finding out the k value okay so for k equal to 4 we got that 2 to the power 4 minus 1 it is 15 and 11 plus 4 that is n plus k okay it is 15 so 15 equal to 15 so left hand side equal to right hand side so this condition is fulfilled therefore we can use four number of parity bits so bit position will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so here we have this much of bit positions we have got that we have to use four parity bits so what will be the position of the parity bits it should be the powers of two that is two to the power zero is one so at this one position we will have parity bit one then 2 to the power 1 is 2 so we have to put another parity bit p2 then 2 square is 4 that is we have to put a parity bit p4 in this fourth position then we have 2 cube 2 cube means 8 here in this eighth position we have to keep here this parity bit p8 we can use four number of parity bits here so these are the four parity bits p1 p2 p4 and p8 so all the remaining are the data bits so here we'll have this third position is suppose denoted by d3 then fifth position bit is suppose data bit is d5 then d6 d7 d9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 so we have to fill up these values in the data bit position so we have here 1100 0, 0. so this is 1100 0, 0 then we have 100 0, 0. so next data bit is this one 100 0, 0. next we have 1010 1010 0, 0. so these are the data bits now we have to find out this parity bit values p1 p2 p4 and p8 okay so in our previous problem also we have seen that how to generate this parity bits p1 is the xor of bits so what will be the bits so here we have one that means after p1 we have to see the first data bit is d3 okay so here we have to write the d3 next we have to skip one that is p4 we have to skip and we have d5 d5 okay next we have to skip this d6 so next we have d7 d7 then skip this p8 then we have d9 d9 okay next again skip this one number d10 okay next we have d11 d11 next we have this d12 so we have to skip this one next we have d13 d13 again we have to skip this d14 so we have to consider this d15 d15 so we have to consider these bits and we have to find out the XOR operation between them so for XOR operation that means we have considered here even parity so d3 is 1 XOR d5 is 1 XOR then d7 is 0 XOR then d9 d9 is 1 xor then we have d11 is 0 xor then we have d13 d13 is again 0 xor then we have d15 d15 is again 0 so what will be the value so here we have 1 2 3 3 number of ones so we'll have p1 will be 1 that is if there are odd number of ones the xor operation value will be 1 next we have to find out p2 so similarly for p2 we have to do the xor operation of bits so for p2 we have to see for after p2 we have this data bit p d3 okay d3 comma next we have to consider this one but we cannot consider this one p4 because it's a parity bit if we skip p4 we have to skip another bit that means we have to skip two number of bits or we have to leave two number of bits okay then we have to write this d6 and d7 
d6 d7 okay next we have to again skip two number of bits okay p8 and d9 we have to skip then we have to write d10 and d11 d10 and d11 again we have to skip d12 and d13 then we have to consider d14 and d15 d14 and d15 so we have to do the XOR operation between this position data bits so d3 value is 1 1 XOR d6 d6 value is 0 XOR d7 d7 is 0 XOR d10 d11 d10 is 0 d11 is 0 so 0 XOR 0 XOR then you have d14 and d15 d14 is 1 d15 is 0 so 1 XOR 0 okay so what we'll have we have 1 2 number of 1's that is even number of 1's so P2 will be 0 next we have to find out P4 we have to do the XOR operation of the bits so P4 so after P4 we have to consider 4 consecutive data bits and we have to leave again 4 consecutive parity bits so here we have three consecutive data bits then this is p8 if it had been a data bit we have to consider that one also but it is a parity bit so we have to leave this one so we have d5 d6 d7 d5 d6 d7 okay next we have to leave this one if we leave this then we have to leave or we have to skip consecutive four bits so p8 d9 d10 and d11 we have to skip then we have to consider again this four d12 d13 d14 and d15 d12 d13 d14 and d15 so d5 value is 1 xor d6 value is 0 xor d7 value is 0 xor d12 value is 1 0 1 then we have to keep these values 1 0 1 0 so 1 xor 0 xor 1 xor 0 okay so what will be the value of p4 so p4 value will be we have 1 2 3 number of 1 so it is the odd number of 1 so we'll have a 1 value so p4 value is 1 next we have to find out this p8 value so for p8 we have to do the xor operation of the bits for p8 so after p8 we have to see we have to consider eight number of bits then we have to skip eight number of bits okay so here we have all the data bits so you can directly write all these data bits okay so up to eight terms d15 so up to here we have to write if we had d16 also we have to write d16 okay then we have to skip again eight number of bits so d9 value is d9 d10 value i will directly write down them so 1 xor 0 xor 0 xor 1 xor 0 xor 1 xor 0 so p8 value will be we have 1 2 3 number of ones therefore it is an odd number of ones so we'll have one value so we have got that p1 value is 1 p2 value is 0 p4 value is 1 and p8 value is 1 now we have to fill up this value in this table so p1 value we have got it is 1 p2 value is 0 then we have p4 value is 1 and p8 value is 1 so p4 value is 1 and p8 value is 1 so this will be the composite 15 bit word with hemming parity so let me write down therefore the composite word with hemming parity bits will be so what will be the word it is one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero zero one zero one zero so this is the 15 bit composite words here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen bits okay so this is the solution of the problem number 7.11 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you